I need to clarify this because there's a little uh, gap of information I've seen okay. of a lot of alternative media about connecting who the Rothschilds are and what their agenda is. And I think I, I understand it a little bit better from reading Jewish history a lot yes. from the Jewish perspective. The Rothschilds in the 1800s, they were very philanthropist and very supportive of Jewish causes, of Jewish education, and they were spending a lot of money at the time, and they were coming to the poor Jewish communities in Jerusalem and Israel and kind of influencing them by nice donations and everything. And, like, and, and people were talking to them at the time that they should try to influence the Sultan to make some conditions easier and everything. And, uh, and uh, Rothschilds instead used it for their agenda. Here is what is the Rothschilds' agenda about the State of Israel. And this is why they created the State of Israel in the first place, is because going back to the late 1800s, early 1900s, the Rothschilds' were, um, wealth was so strong that it combined Germany, England, and France all together. They were so powerful, and their problem was they needed a sovereignty and an own military to protect the wealth. So what they did is they 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 came up with the idea of creating a Jewish state so it would be a Jewish cause and with the public figure of people having sympathy of a Jewish cause and people feeling for a Jewish cause. They, were, they have unlimited supply for, for personnel joining military and this is how the Zionist uh, idea came to empower to to the Rothschilds influencing uh, because they, they, their goal was to protect their own wealth and that's why you'll see Israel is involved in, in many uh, conflicts of other countries who are not paying back their debt is because that's how that's the main purpose is as a military power to protect that particular interest of the Rothschilds uh, 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 entity. The Rothschilds, they're offering a free service of a Jewish uh, sovereignty, a Jewish home state, and all these things. And this is how they attract people in order to become supportive of their causes and, 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 and uh, dedicate their life to the military, the Tzahal, and, and so on. So in the, in the ultimate purpose of it is to protect the, all the, the, sovereign, the, the wealth of the, the Rothschilds. The Knesset, which is the Congress, the parliamentary building in Israel, is was bought by the Rothschilds, paid for it, and it's owned by them. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. so you 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 get the same idea if you if anyone does the research, it's never been denied that the Rothschilds were the one who received the state of Israel from the the British uh, royalty yep. to to build it uh, to build their own. Uh, uh, sovereign nation, and if you do your own research and do just the the puzzle of it, you'll understand it. Because in, in the important part is maybe worth mentioning why the Rothschilds were so desperate for a sovereign nation. Because imagine if they were richer than uh, uh, Britain and France and then Germany combined while living in Britain and Germany, the German government had the ability of taking away all their wealth. So, uh, this, so they had to devise a plan of protecting that wealth. And that's why their own sovereignty and having a, a home state and a homeland with a political dynamic of a Jewish state is important to them.